Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a great day so far. So for today's video, I am going to be talking you through my 20 lips for life. So these are 20 lip products, 20 lipsticks or lip colors. There's a few non lipsticks in here, lip glosses, things like that. So I'm going to be talking you through my 20 for life. If I had to keep 20 from my lip collection, which you guys have seen is pretty extensive. This is what I would choose. Now, full disclosure, I had originally planned for this to be 10 lips for life. But when I started making my list, I was like, I need 20. 10 is just not going to cut it for me when it comes to lipsticks. We're talking summer, winter, evenings out, holidays, every day, school run. There's just too many occasions to limit myself to just 10. So we went for 20, okay? Um, I couldn't do 10, I'm sorry. These aren't necessarily my top 20 absolute favorites. This is more so if I was just gonna choose a collection of 20 lip products for condensing purposes, if I was trying to keep a sensibly sized lip collection, or if someone came in and took all my lipsticks from me, don't bother. I mean, obviously I would hunt them down and get them back. But if that happened, if all of my lipsticks were lost somehow, these are the 20 I would purchase first because they cover all bases. I need some lipsticks for daytime. I need some that are very long wearing. I need a lipstick for date night. I need lipsticks for holiday. I need lipsticks for all occasions and all seasons. So these are the 20 that if you were just gonna pick 20 lipsticks, these are the 20 that I would pick. So let's start off with the lipstick that I have on right now, and it is the Fenty Cream Gloss Bomb in the shade Honey Waffles. This is my favorite shade in this formula. I think it's just so flattering. It's one that's gonna go any season, it's very quick, it's definitely a handbag keeper. A lipstick or lip gloss, I guess it is, with a bit more pigment that's gonna just live forever in my handbag. It just stays in there permanently because it's so easy. You don't need a mirror to apply it. It's so comfortable and easy and just nice and shiny and plumping and glossy on the lips and it just looks really healthy. It's perfect for literally any occasion. Very easy to whack on and go. Love it. Next up, Lisa Eldridge Velvet Affair. Oh, you guys know I fell head over heels when I first tried this one and I haven't looked back. It is the first out of this little list that is not currently available. It kind of briefly came back into stock and then was gone again. But it isn't discontinued. It is gonna be back, I believe, that Lisa said in the autumn, like September time, this will be back. So I don't feel too bad about mentioning it. And obviously you can get the gloss. So yeah, I don't feel too bad, but there are some lipsticks in here or lip products in here that aren't that easy to get hold of so I'm sorry about that but I had to include my absolute top 20 and this one I just couldn't not include it it's long wearing it's so flattering it's like my perfect matte nude I don't have a lot of matte lipsticks that I love I much prefer a glossier shinier finish but this formula from Lisa it's comfortable it's long wearing it doesn't dry down and it doesn't super dry out your lips it's obviously more drying than like a balm or a glossy, shiny lipstick, but it isn't like my lips are falling apart at the seams after a few hours. It's long wearing, it's beautiful and silky. It's a joy to apply. It's just like the perfect everyday nude that's got a bit more of a punch to it. It's not too light, it's just right in the middle. I absolutely love this one. Don't be surprised when my application gets more and more scruffy throughout this video for obvious reasons. Next up, the first of the kind of balmy type of products in this lineup, and this is Fenty's Slip Shine and the shade Cookies and Cocoa. Just had to check that I had that right because I have a few shades of this. This is my favorite in winter as far as the balm. I love the rum. Bubble rum is the shade that I prefer in the summer just because it's deeper. This one is just a year round staple. Again, one that was just gonna live in my handbag all year round because it's so easy, you whack it on. It is very balm-like with just a hint of color. It's not like one of these balms that actually very pigmented. It's nice, I'd say like a sheer to medium coverage. Really just looks like you've got nothing on your lips. It's your definite, like the absolute classification of your lips, but better. So comfortable, very balmy, like I said, just a hint of color just a, a day staple really for me any kind of days out with the kids it's just going to keep my lips 
nice and hydrated without too much color and just super easy again you don't need a mirror to apply you can just be really really quick and it's good to go and it'll just go with any other makeup look that you're wearing it's just i love these these will always be a staple for me next up one of huda beauty's cream glow lipsticks i raved about these when my first initial review and i had to pick up more shades and this has become my favorite this is raja and i just i love this i will usually as you can see it's a bit light for me on its own especially in summer but with a lip liner just absolutely perfect I didn't want to show it with a lip liner today because I just want you to see the lipsticks on their own but this is just yeah the best ultimate like neutral nude one that's perfect for date night if you want to just like bombshell it up and you've got a lot going on on the eyes or you've got a lot of blush or something like that and you just want a really just a neutral lip this with any nude lip liner or on its own if you're fairer than me or lighter light to medium skin tone or just whack it on with a liner which is what I would do and it's just so easy soup literally feels like nothing is on your lips but it's got enough pigments so it's a bit more pigmented than say the slip shines from Fenty a little bit more color but just so natural so hydrating so glossy on the finish it's really flattering if you have lots of lines on your lips like I do and it's just absolutely the easiest thing again a very handbag staple friendly lipstick next up Estee Lauder's Peerless Ah, oh, the finish on this is just so shiny it's got a lot of pigment packs a punch it's not too light of a nude i definitely don't need a liner with this at all it's absolutely perfect i love the bullet it's very easy to get a nice crisp shape with this lipstick although i've made an utter hash of it now because it's like you know we're getting along the row now so it's getting messier and messier but it's so comfortable this formula but with a lot of pigment there's a color in this range for everybody there's another one in the same range same finish that I'll show you down the line that is just they're stunning they have so one swipe pigment and just such a lovely feel on the lips such a comfortable lipstick with such a lovely luscious healthy finish really nice and shiny but with full-on pigment and this is a nice nude for me that's a bit darker a bit richer so I don't need a liner it suits me in summer and I just think it's it's just so flattering just again a very easy nude but a bit deeper so in summer or just in the evening when I want something a bit more that's not like a sort of your lips but better shade but it's still not gonna scream or argue with my eyeshadow if I want to do a, a coloured eye look so yeah for me this is again one that I reach for a lot especially in the evenings when I'm doing the most and next up, who thought this lineup was going to be complete without Charlotte Tilbury's Nude Romance? One of my more recent loves of my life. As soon as I tried this shade on, I thought me and this shade are going to have a love affair. And it's just, this is the shade I pick up. You know those days when you've done your makeup and you go to reach for your lipsticks and nothing is just quite clicking. You know, you put two or three on and each time you're like, that doesn't really go. That's not really what I'm looking for. Every single time that happens to me, I reach for this lipstick because I know it is never going to be wrong. It's never going to argue with anything. I'm never going to not like how it looks. It's never going to not go with my makeup. It's never going to be too much or not enough. It's never going to need a liner or not work with a liner. It's just the most perfect, inoffensive lipstick I've ever met. It's perfect for every occasion. It's perfect for every makeup look, wherever I'm going. Again, I will live in my handbag. This is in my um, project pan for this year because that's how confident I feel like it's going to be used up this year because I just, I'm always reaching for it. As much as I try to use other lipsticks, I find myself coming back to this one all of the time. It's a love of my life. I will be buying refills. It just is, it's perfect. You know, when you find those nudes and they're just, they they get you they're your nudes this is this is she i had to include a natasha denona i need a nude shade because they're one of my favorite formulas they're just so perfect there's a shade for everyone whether you like warm or cool or neutral tones whether you're deeper skin tone or a fair skin tone there is a nude a perfect nude in this collection i love the finish of it it's very easy going it's not like glossy and shiny but it's not matte either so it's super comfortable very pigmented kind of tricky to get a perfect crisp line for me i'd need a liner or just to take my time which isn't really something i'm good at 
This shade is Sammy and it's, I think it's my favorite. It's just a little unique. There's something about the undertone of it. This is one of the beige undertones and I just find it again, so easy going, but it looks a little cool toned. It kind of gives me a bit of a grungier vibe and just, yeah, I just find this just goes with literally every look that I want to do for evening. I tend to reach for cooler tones on my eyes in the evening. And so therefore this is going to really amp that up and be like full on vixen mode. You know what I mean? Now an oldie, but an absolute goldie, a little too light for me at the moment without a liner, but this is Charlotte Tilbury's bitch. Perfect. I hate swearing on my channel. It's very naughty, but that's the name of the shade. I'm so sorry about it. Take it up with the other Charlotte, not this Charlotte. I didn't come up with it. It's rude, but this is a perfect nude with a peachy tone for a light medium skin tone. And winter, mm, this is like the nude romance, but a few shades lighter. It's got mainly a nude tone, but with a hint of peach. And it's again, it's that same creamy, comfortable, shiny finish that I love. And it's just really flattering. I tend to like a lot of peachy looks. So therefore this is the perfect complement to that, but it's not so peach and bright that it won't go with other colors. If you've got other colors on your eyes or your cheeks, you can't, you don't have to count this one out because it's peach. It's not so overwhelmingly peach that it clashes with other colors. It's just a very easy going peach, perfect for lighter skin tones, fair to light medium, and you won't need a liner with this and it will just be your perfect everyday peachy nude. Next up, one of the YSL Slim Glow Mattes in the shade 213. Oh, I fell in love with this formula and this is the shade that started it all. I feel like this is the perfect version of Max Chili for me. This is like, autumn and winter heaven for me. I just love the tone of this, particularly in those cooler months. It's that lovely, shiny, like satin finish. Super comfortable and just super wearable. I feel like it really warms and richens everything up and it gives you a bit of a pop of color, but it's a very safe color. So it's not super bright. It's not, you know, a pink or a purple or a really vibrant coral or an orange. It's just got something that's not a nude, but it's not as intimidating it's still much more wearable and safe if you're feeling a little afraid of too bright a color if you like max chili it's basically chili but with more of a satin finish i think chili's a matte from mac I love that one as well, but this one just gives me that little bit of more of a natural finish and more comfortable on the lips because it's got that bit of shine to it, but just such an easy going shade with a little bit of something if you're feeling brave. Next up, a Pat McGrath lipstick, and this is the shade She's Heaven. I don't know what's going on with these Lux Trance formulas. They've just been out of stock for forever, and I love this formula. It's much my preferred formula from the brand. It's just the perfect satin, finish. Again, it's not glossy. It's not too shiny. It's not a messy formula. It's a very easy one swipe, full opacity, very nicely wearing, really long wearing for like not a matte or not a liquid lipstick. I find this shade, this is She's Heaven, by the way, if I didn't say that, sorry, this just goes with everything. I just, this is again, one of my most favorite nude everyday shades, but it also is just perfect for evening as well. This is a glorious wedding color, guest more so I'd say than bride. But again, if you had medium skin or you just want a more bold lips color, I don't know that necessarily bridal makeup has to be very, very super natural, but this is definitely a step up from like a your lips but better nude, but it's just very easy, very thoughtless, very comfortable, beautiful formula. What more can you say? And now for one of the bougiest lipsticks in my collection. This is a Bond number no. nine and it's the shade Gramercy Park. This is my favorite shade from Bond number no. nine. I mean, this packaging is just, I live for it. It's so bougie and over the top and <laughs> who doesn't love that? You know, I know I do, but the formula actually lives up to the packaging, which I love. I feel like if you're gonna spend a lot of money on a makeup product, I want it to feel special. And this makes me feel special for a start. But this formula is, it's magical. It is so opaque, yet literally feels like you don't have lipstick on. I can't feel this on my lips at all. It's long wearing, it's creamy. It's got such a smoothing formula. It really does make my lip lines look less exaggerated, less, liney, you know, less dry. They look hydrated, plump, full, 
youthful and just a healthy, shiny, glowy, kissable lips is what I'm trying to say. I just think this shade is very easy going, easy to wear. Again, you could amp it up with a liner, but or even put a gloss on if you want it glossier, but this is just the perfect finish for me. It's not too shiny, it's not too matte, it's super comfortable, it's fully opaque with a swipe, but feels like nothing somehow, and yet is still pretty long wearing, again, for this type of lipstick. I just, I live for it. I could not be without this packaging for a start. Next up, the Double Tenue shade from Chanel that I picked up, and this is Intense Caramel. I don't put the gloss on because once I do that, this will be like set in for life and I have like more lipsticks to get on. But that is the reason why this is undoubtedly going to be in this 20. If I was only going to keep 20 lipsticks, which let's keep reminding myself that's not happening because I get a little bit anxious whenever I think of that thought. Just It's just for fun. Remember that. It's just for fun. But if I need a lipstick for date night, if I need a lipstick where I don't wanna to have to apply, I don't wanna to have to worry that it's gone from my lips. If I'm going out for dinner with the girls or drinks and it's gonna be a long evening, lots of drinking, lots of eating and messing up my lipstick, this is the one I'm going for because I know it will look exactly the same when I walk back in the door as it did when I left. It's quite magical and who knows what voodoo is going on here in fact i'm gonna have to put this gloss on because otherwise my lips are just shriveling up as we speak and also to be fair without the gloss you weren't really sh seeing the finish of this lipstick because it is a shiny glossy finish that somehow like magically just is impenetrable it just stays on your lips and it will wear amazing but it is not even a hint drying it's not like a liquid lipstick that dries down and sucks all the life and soul out of your lips it literally stays like this looking like a glossy shiny lip but somehow it doesn't wear off and i'm very confused as to what the magic is but i'd like a hundred more different shades of this because there aren't that many shades that i'd love to pick up but the formula of this is unbeatable for that long wearing, I don't want anything coming off my lips, I don't want anything moving for hours and hours. This is it, this is it. Have a look at the, this formula is insane. You have to apply the lipstick first and then you go over the top of the gloss once it starts to dry down and it just gives you the glossiest, most beautiful, shiny lip, but somehow it doesn't come off. Like, do you understand me? What's happening here? Ha how? I don't, I'm confused. Now I've got to try and get that off. Who knows what's gonna happen. Good. Hmm, yeah, I think it's on there for life, guys. I think it's on there for life. Should have done this one last, but I, I told myself that the bright shades would be harder to get off and then I forgot about this one. So those are all my nude shade choices, my nude tone, nude lipsticks that I included in this. So let's have a look at these swatches. This is all of the nude shades that I'm going to talk about today. All of the next lot of colours are what I would say are bright or colourful lipsticks. So here I'm showing you all the nudes that I've spoken about so you can see them all next to each other and compare and swatches. I hope this is helpful. And now let's move on to the more colorful lipsticks that I chose. So this is Charlotte Tilbury's Happy Kiss, and this is in her Superstar Lips formula. This is fully gone forever, I'm so sorry. I couldn't not include it. I hate using it on my channel because you can't get it, and I hate that I can't get it anymore because it's one of my favorite lipsticks. It's probably top five all time for me. I absolutely love it. I love this formula. The second favorite shade I have in this formula is Glow Kiss. If you're wondering for another recommendation that you might actually be able to get, I don't understand. I feel like Charlotte Tilbury quite often discontinue like their best shades and their most popular products, so I don't know what's happening, but the Superstar Lips, the ultimate handbag staple, like so nice and slim with the packaging, just an easy breezy, very similar to like the Fenty 
uh, slip shine formula that very balmy but with a bit more color and not as thin they're a bit thicker gives you a little bit more coverage but just this this shade is just perfect whenever i wear this in videos i always have questions about it and i'm so sorry it is just like seemingly weirdly gone but i do pray for a miracle and it's safe return one of these days please Next up, of course you knew I was going to include Lisa Eldridge's Go Lightly, another one that isn't currently, presently available, but I did see Lisa Eldridge in her comments on Instagram confirming that it is going to be back. She did say this is one of her luxuriously lucent lip shades, but she's just released um, a new collection with some existing shades and a whole load of new shades, but this one wasn't included and everyone was just devastated because it's been so highly sought after and it sold out very quickly when it was first released and no one's seen it since. Lisa did say that she had planned this to be like a limited edition one-off shade. She wanted it to be really special and limited but there has just been such an outcry and desperate begging and everybody wants it back, wants it back that she said that she will actually bring it back at some point. So hopefully we'll see that. It's unlikely to I guess to be before next year because she tends to to release her velvets in the autumn and she only kind of does those two releases a spring and an autumn release so I don't think we'll see it before like next spring it's just such a unique shade I love this luxuriously lucent formula from Lisa it's so comfortable and shiny I love that you can have a sheer wash of color or build it up to be like a medium opacity very comfortable very spring and summer just like I, I find this shade so unique and although it sits in the color family that I have a lot of lipsticks that are corals and pinkies oranges and peaches but there's just something so unique about this like salmon shade I have nothing like it and it's just gorgeous it's one of these showstoppers that whenever I wear it any photo any day I wear it out someone's gonna say what is that on your lips because it is just special Definitely not my best application ever, but my God, speaking of special, this is Jimmy Choo lipstick in the shade Coral. I think it's just called Coral, Coral Kiss, I stand corrected. I mean, a bit like the Bond number no. nine, a very expensive, very bougie over the top packaging, which I love, and it is so heavy and weighty. Again, if you're gonna spend a lot of money on a lipstick or any makeup product, you want it to feel expensive, and this feels and looks expensive. It's also, you know, not one of these products where, okay, the packaging is nice, but inside is very average. This lipstick is amazing. That one swipe, insane opaque, color and this just the brightest most beautiful almost metallic finish to this lipstick it's just gorgeous even the smell even the print the pattern this snake skin on that bullet everything about it like justifies the price to me because it really is just a really special lipstick it just gives me so much joy just to hold this but to put it on as well it's just jaw-droppingly beautiful my lips are just slowly giving up on me, to be honest. Another Charlotte Tilbury lipstick, and this is the shade Hot Emily. And this is one of, I think, my newest shade from Charlotte Tilbury. One I've had on my list for a long time, and I was like, why am I just waiting around? Just get it for crying out loud. Oh, this is just the perfect summer shade. I love the finish. Again, it's that really high shine, really comfortable, really opaque, bright color and it's kind of very interesting to me it's like is it coral is it peachy is it orange is it a little bit pink is it a bit salmon it kind of reminds me of the lisa eldridge go lightly but a lot brighter a lot more opaque as far as coverage the lisa eldridge lipsticks they stay kind of in that medium opacity this is like a full coverage really super bright punchy color for summer again with tan skin it's just stunning it's not so so bright that it's terrifying or you know it's scary to wear but it's bright enough that you feel like you're wearing color i just again one that's just come into my life and suddenly is an absolute favorite the state of these lips at this point my god my face is just going to be orange forever now I feel I feel we're just getting brighter and brighter and I'm here for it this is Max Mangrove oh, again this is a bit of a deeper bright so again if you have deeper skin tone this is going to be not as crazy over the top bright on you and if you're fairer this is going to give you much more of a punch but it's just 
electric. I love that it has that matte finish, but it's a MAC matte finish. So it is a little more comfortable and it's not like fully paper matte. I feel like it is more of a sort of satin matte. I really like the finish. I find it very smooth. This shade, again, it's a bit unique. It's like a ready pinky coral maybe orange. Who really knows what's going on in there? There's a whole lot of tones. I just think it's very, very flattering. It's not too like garish. It's not so orange that it makes your skin, it washes you out. It's just very flattering for such a bright shade. I live for it. It's the perfect holiday shade every time. We're nearly there lippies, hang on in. Now this one is a little bit of a cheat, I realise, because it's a lip kit, but this is the Lisa Eldridge Ribbon Lip Kit. So you get a liner, a lipstick and a gloss. So this is actually one of her velvets, but then you get a gloss on the top. Now red glossy lips like this are really in this year. I just see them everywhere I go and I just think it's such a beautiful, I've got lipstick all over my teeth, but that is the price you have to pay. I feel like it's a way to make reds less intimidating by giving them a bit of a glossy finish. Try that, if you're a bit scared of a red lip, which I was for a long time, try a gloss over the top, even just a clear gloss instead of a matte. It's a lot more, I feel like less intimidating to wear. It's easier to apply, especially when you have the kit from Lisa where you've got your liner, your lipstick and your gloss and it's just, you know, always gonna work beautifully together. You don't have to think she's done all the work for you, bless her. So you've just got your perfect lip kit in one and you don't have to try and mix and match things it just all goes together seamlessly and beautifully and the formula of all three of these are stunning you can certainly wear the gloss by itself but this all in one all three products it's absolutely drop dead vixen this is what i feel like a femme fatale like it's literally a superhero lip isn't it absolutely just gorgeous. Something so special about Lisa Eldridge products in general, but her lipsticks, especially her reds, which were like her original launch, her initial launch of those velvet matte reds. Uh, but you know, add a gloss, it just softens it somehow, makes it less kind of vampy and a bit more vixen-y, if there is a difference. There's definitely some pretty serious staining going on at this point. I don't know if there's a way back from here, guys. Maybe I'm just gonna be a little bit orange on my chin for the rest of my life. Next up, this is the YSL. I don't know what the name of this actually is. Oh, Vinyl Cream is the name of it. And it's number 406. 406, I have that shade in like several different formulas, but I think this is my favorite of the formulas. And it has that vinyl feel and look. It's super shiny, like a gloss, but it feels like very heavy cream, like thick. But I mean, that makes it sound really bad, but it's in a good way. When I was applying that, it felt like I was applying a lovely comforting lip treatment because it felt very cooling and just very hydrating on the lips. These are really long wearing. They turn into a stain once the like shine, if you're eating a lot, touching your lips or drink, having lots of drinks, having coffees, things like that. It will fade, but it stays to like a stain. It's just so shiny and beautiful. Again, it's like one of those brights, but it's not too in intimidating because it's not so deep. And it's also because it's got that glossy finish, just makes it a bit more daytime friendly for, for my taste. Again, in summer with tan skin, with deeper skin, it's just gonna be so flattering. On fairer skin, it's gonna give you a real, real lollipop bright lip. And I just think it goes again, just beautifully with like summer and spring makeup. And it's so comfortable and like refreshing. The lip, my lips feel like refreshed after what they've just been through. This is just what they needed. You see how it's staining there. So if you're looking for like a super bright, long wearing lipstick, you need look no further. Again, another one we should have done last, Charlotte. And last, but by no means least, this is another one of those Estee Lauder super shiny lipsticks. This is the shade Carnal. And this is the shade that like started my love affair with Estee Lauder lipsticks. It's just, uh, I mean, the full opacity, the crisp edge of that bullet, that even on my 20th lip application of such a bright color, it's given me a lovely, 
fairly crisp, as crisp as we can get at this point, finish. I think it's just such a gorgeous formula, it's so comfortable, yet so much opacity and just depth and richness to that colour. And it's just, it feels so nice on the lips. Lovely, balmy, shiny, but not glossy finish. Really nicely wearing, smells amazing. And just, I just love this shade. I feel like, again, it's kind of one of those, is it a red, is it an orange? kind of shades that I really, really love, especially for summer. I feel like everything has just clashed with my top horribly today. That was a mistake. I don't know what I was thinking. And here you have all of those brights swatched side by side together. So you can see the similarities and the comparisons. Just an absolutely gorgeous selection of the brightest, prettiest shades that I cannot wait to get stuck on my lips for the summer months. Oh, blimey. So there we have it. 20 lips for life. That's my selection. If I could only keep 20, this would be my choice. I feel like we've got something for every occasion, for every makeup look, for every vibe, for every season, for every possible eventuality when it comes to what I want to wear on my lips. Please let us know if someone came and took all your lipsticks from you, which would be the first ones that you would repurchase? What would be your lipsticks for life that you must have in your collection we'd love to know in the comment section down below i hope you enjoyed this video and i'd love to see you in the next one otherwise take care for now bye 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 bye, bye.